Can you believe we are at the end of March? It's so nice to say goodbye to this month. Hi everybody, it's Kathy. Today I'm sharing my favorites for the month of March and I am doing it in collaboration with my friend Natalie, the beauty diva. I'm sure most of you know who Natalie is. She is a makeup artist and a friend that I've had here on YouTube for the last three years. Natalie is a fellow Canadian and she is one of the nicest, most good-hearted people that I have met on YouTube. She's always willing to lend a hand and she does the most beautiful makeup looks. So her channel will be linked below in the description box. So after you watch my video, please go say hello to Natalie if you already don't know her and watch her video. Hi Natalie, thanks for working with me again. Okay. Um, okay. In light of what's been going on in the world, I have not bought anything this past month. I honestly, I kind of don't feel like it. So what I have done is I have went around my house and I'm shopping my stash for absolutely favorite things that I love. And I just wanted to share them with you. These are things, a lot of them that I use every day and it's not every day, it's at least once a week. So let's start with what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing a sleeveless tank top from Clio, but what I wanted to talk about was the sweater. This is a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Um, I think it's a circle or the chic, cozy chic, I think that's what it is. But anyways, I'll put everything below in the description box. I love this because as you know, when you get to a certain age, it's nice to dress in layers. And this is so soft and so cozy that it's just nice uh, for these days where we're staying close to home just to snuggle up in it. So let's start with some makeup and let's start with what I'm wearing on my face. I actually have two sizes of this. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is a travel size. I was looking for my larger size. I don't know where it is right now. I never used to wear a primer until I got a sample of this one. And I have to tell you, it really, impressed me it goes on uh, well it's a liquid but as you're applying it i swear it almost turns into a powder and it, it just feels so silky smooth on my skin and i do think that using it on my skin does uh, help my foundation to look a lot better i am now a convert and i do believe in wearing a primer and the next thing that i am still loving very much is the dior dream skin cushion foundation that is what i'm wearing today a few of you have reached out to me and told me that you have purchased it after uh, watching my review and you absolutely love it too. That's what it looks like. Uh, I know it's expensive when you buy the initial setup, but as I told you earlier, that includes two full refills plus the container. So, and it has such a nice mirror. Now I applied it this morning with the little sponge that comes with it. It's the first time that I've ever used a sponge. I just could not find my favorite makeup brush. Like, I don't know, Buddy's hoarding my stuff away, but things are missing. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like how it applied with the sponge. I much prefer my number six brush from It Cosmetics. I thought that it did a far better job. And you can watch the Get Ready With Me that I will link in my description box and you will see how nicely it applies with a brush. I just thought that using the cushion um, little sponge that came with it. I just couldn't get the coverage that I wanted. And then on top of all that, I'm using my favorite powder and it's by Hourglass. This is the travel size of the Mineral Veil powder. I always buy the travel size if I can because I'd rather replenish my stock sooner rather than later because I don't wear a lot of makeup every day. This is going to last me a long time. I love Hourglass. I have not been disappointed with any of their face powders. They really do sit well on my skin. I have oily skin and I really do believe that, I don't know, it somehow helps my skin to mattify and it's great and I love it. So that's all that I'm wearing on my face today are those three things, the primer, the Dior Cushion Foundation and the Hourglass Mineral Veil. And another favorite that I love for my brows and it's another Dior product. Sadly, I don't know if this has been discontinued, but I have not been able to find it anywhere. It is their brow mascara. I wear this every day. Every day I put on my brows and lip gloss and that's pretty much my go-to with my skincare. Unless, you know, I'm doing a video or we're going somewhere special. But I like this because 
it applies easily, it's quick, and my eyebrows do not get crunchy. I have tried other brow products after you put them on. The way that it dries, like my eyebrows feel um, stuck together, almost like glue. It's not the case with this. My brows still feel natural and I'm really hoping that they have not discontinued it because I will be very sad. And the next thing that I'm wearing, and it's another Dior product, I have three of these. I've talked about them before. These are their Lip Glow. They're just a colored lip balm. And that is the color that I'm wearing today. And, oh gosh. Uh, it's number six and it's called Berry. And of course, I cannot get through a favorites video without sharing a perfume. Big surprise, it's another Dior perfume. My goodness, I didn't realize I had so many Dior products. This is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Had this bottle probably for about a year and a half. I wear perfume every day. I wear it for myself. I love it. How would I describe this? You know I love Joy, and you know I love the original Miss Dior Eau de Parfume. This is definitely in between the two. Uh, it's not as intense as those two. This is just a very nice, light, florally, clean smelling fragrance. I don't know how else to describe it. I love it. The packaging is adorable as usual. All of the Dior perfumes look like that. They have this cute little bow on it and it just looks so pretty sitting on your, my dresser. I will do a perfume video coming up because I have been asked to uh, do an updated video on that. So now we're gonna get into skincare. And let's start with the eyes. This is the third pot that I have used of the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. As you can see, this one's hitting pan. One of these lasts me probably nine months and I use it twice a day and believe me, a little bit goes a long way. I used to have very oily eyelids. I have changed nothing other than using this eye cream. Now my eyelids are normal, they are no longer oily. I don't understand why. Maybe they were dehydrated. I have read that people with oily skin can still be dehydrated. I have experienced that in the past, so maybe that was the problem with my eyelids. I don't know, but I swear by this cream and a few of you have tried it on my recommendation and you have told me that you love it as well. Again, I always try and pick it up on the Sephora sale or at Nordstrom's or on uh, the Bobbi Brown website. Sometimes she has sales, but like I said, one of these lasts me almost a year. So I think it's uh, very much worth the price. Some more skincare that I'm loving. Since Christmas time, I made the commitment to switch all of my skincare to medical grade. And I'm not saying that you have to do it. This is just something that I wanted to do for myself because I love skincare. And I committed that this year I wanted to focus on my skin and try different products and procedures. And I will link below my Botox videos, my chemical peel videos. I've only had one chemical peel. I've been using PCA Skin. That is a medical uh, grade brand. They've been around for 25 years and I'm using all of their products. Since Christmas, we're at the end of March, I have noticed a difference in my skin. I'm gonna do a dedicated video on the medical grade skincare, but I just pulled two of my favorite products. That doesn't mean that all the products I've recommended in the past that I'm turning my back on, I am not. I still believe in them. I would still use them today if my medical grade ran out and I wasn't able to get it, which may become a possibility with uh, the lockdown here because I am running low. And in Canada, you cannot purchase medical grade skincare online anywhere, at least not that I have found. I contacted the company directly and they told me, no, in Canada, we can't buy it online. But I know that you can in the States. So the first product that I love is their C&E Advanced. It is their vitamin C. It comes in a tube like this and I use it once a day. Uh, it is orange in color. And when it's first applied, I think that my skin is getting a little more climatized to it, but it would sting a little bit. And that uh, it's normal. It's just the active ingredient, I guess, uh, going into the skin. Um, have I noticed a difference? I think my skin is a little more even toned and less red. 
So if this product had something to do with it or just a combination of all of them, I think, but definitely like this. And I love the uh, application method, the little squeezy thing. And the next product by PCA that I absolutely love is their Total Strength Serum. This is an empty bottle. This lasted me three months, morning and night. One pump does my whole face. It's a liquid gel, I guess how you would describe it. And again, it just gets sucked right into the face and my skin just feels hydrated and smooth after applying it. I just opened my brand new bottle. This stuff is not cheap. It has growth factors in it. Um, oh gosh, I can't read the writing. I will put the link below and if you want more information, you can check it out. But I know it has growth factors. It may have collagen. But uh, definitely love this and hope that I can always get my hands on that because it's a great product. Another skincare item that I have talked about many, many times. It's a drugstore item. And I have tried all different brands, different price points of moisturizers throughout the year. I always come back to my Vaseline. And the one that I like is the Vaseline Intensive Care for Mature Skin. This sits on my nightstand. Before I go to bed, I always put lotion on my hands, my arms, and my chest. And after my shower, I also use a lotion. It's not greasy. It really absorbs into the skin. And like I said, to me, this works as equally as well as some more expensive products that I've used in the past. And one of these lasts a long time and I think it's like under $10. So if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend trying it. It maybe you can get a smaller size just to give it a go, but it's great. Another skin product that I am loving, I bought this off the shopping channel, but I, I'm pretty sure you can buy it on Sephora. And it's a body scrub and it's by the company Skin Fix. And what it is, it's a glycolic renewing scrub. And I also have the cream that you apply after this. Um, I probably scrub my body maybe once every three to four weeks. I know I should probably do it maybe weekly, but it's just, I don't know. I guess I'm just too lazy to. But I wanted to mention this today because I actually saw this work overnight on, on me. I had a, what I thought was a pimple on my chest. And I was picking at it and picking at it, trying to get rid of it. And it, it just kept coming back and it wouldn't disappear. So then I thought, well, maybe it was a skin tag. So I was pulling on it, trying to get rid of it. And I know I probably shouldn't have, but that's what I did. So anyways, I got the bright idea. I'm going to treat the spot with this. I'm going to put a lot on. It's like a sand texture. Let me just see if I can... Well, it looks like a cream, but as you rub it in, you can actually feel like grains of sand. So I just kind of rubbed it in like that for maybe a minute on the spot. Then I took a shower and then I applied some of the corresponding glycolic acid uh, cream that goes on after it. Honestly, the next morning I woke up, the spot was gone. I couldn't believe it. I was actually gonna go to the dermatologist and ask him to burn it off. But whatever um, this product does, it's great because it gets rid of um, those little pimply things we sometimes get in our bra area. So I just thought I would mention that. A hair product that I've talked about before and that I need to replenish is by Lanza. It's their Neem Plant Silk Serum. One pump of this does all of my hair. I always avoid the top of my hair because I have oily hair, but I um, apply my products like on the ends and you know, in the middle like here. I have frizzy hair, but whenever I use this, it really tones down the frizz and it really does make my hair feel like silk. I washed my hair last night and I was playing with it when I was watching TV and I just was feeling it and I just could not believe how silky and smooth that it felt. So I have to find someplace online where I can get another bottle of this. Love this stuff. And keeping with hair, I have three brushes I want to show you. And two of which I use every day. They're all by Dry Bar. This is the Lemon Drop brush. I use this every day just to comb my hair. And this is the Half Pint brush. I use this whenever I blow dry my hair. And what I do is I just hold the hair dryer on my hair 
just let the air get at it till it's about 90% dry and then I'll take this brush and I will stretch out my hair and it makes my hair very flat. Otherwise my hair would be out to here. I have a ton of hair. It's frizzy, it's very thick and in the summertime when it's humid it can go totally nuts on me. And because it's so long I am really in need of a haircut but that's not happening anytime soon. I really need to find products that and tools that help me keep things under control. Now I did buy this brush a while ago. I may have used it once, I don't remember. I, I think it's a tease brush. Honestly, I don't remember why I bought it, but I did. So I think I, I was feeling at the time that I just wanted to uh, fluff up my hair here. But anyways, I love the dry bar brushes, no complaints whatsoever. Now, being that we're all stuck inside this month, uh, keeping our distance from everybody, I thought I would recommend a movie and a few board games that we are enjoying to help pass the time. If you're looking for a movie that is cute, um, not something that you have to put a lot of thought into, but has a really nice message at the end, I think that you might enjoy the movie Palms, P-O-M-S, uh, with Diane Keaton. I remember seeing the movie trailer last fall when it, um, it came out and we never got to go to the theater to see it. And I have been waiting for Netflix or Crave TV to show it and they never did. So last night we bought it through iTunes and I think it was $5.99 to rent it for 48 hours. It's a cute movie. Um, basically the plot is Diane Keaton is um, a senior. She moves from New York City, I believe, to Georgia where she lives in one of those uh, retirement communities. And she's kind of an introvert, introvert, but her neighbor is the total opposite. They become best friends and they gather a group of ladies and they form a cheerleading squad. And it's just a nice feel good movie. It kind of mirrors what's going on in the world today where everybody's pulling together for a common goal and you just, um, finish the movie and you just feel happy and feel good about things. So you might like that. One of the games that we like to play, it's a card game, it's called Phase 10. And basically what you do is get a card with 10 different levels on and everybody has to complete their level and they get increasingly more difficult as you go along. But it's a lot of fun and you know a game can last anywhere from an hour to I've seen us play like two hours because sometimes it's just difficult to get the right card. And another game is probably my favorite game is Scategories. It comes with some cards and how it um, works is it has a timer. You each get a sheet of paper and you get a list of things. And say you roll the dice and the letter that you roll is an R then everything on your list has to begin with that letter. So say one of the questions is, what is a man's name that begins with R? And I say Robert, and say my husband says Robert, we cancel each other out. So it's a lot of fun, yeah, you get a lot of laughs with it. So I just thought I would uh, mention those two games, being that we're stuck inside, um, you're probably like us looking for ways to pass the time. One more thing I wanted to mention before I go is, I wanted to let you guys know that you are some of my favorite things, not just for March, but for every day. And even when I'm not putting a video up, I often think of you guys and wonder how you're doing. I know that a, a lot of you have messaged me and saying, you know, please keep putting your videos up. I need the distraction. And I'm happy to do that because it helps me distract myself as well whenever I'm putting the videos up, but I just wanted to let you know that I am aware and trying to be sensitive of what is going on in the world today. And I want you to know that I'm thinking of you and I know that we can all get through this time together. And if me putting up a 10 or 15 minute video gives you a few minutes out of your day where you're not thinking about everything else, then I have accomplished my goal because my goal was to connect with people and to um, maybe make you smile or just feel a little happier in your day. But I want you to know that you guys are my friends, even though we have not met, I often think about, hey, I wonder how Robin's doing in Australia, or how is Cher in Ireland, or how is my friend Jackie in New Jersey? Even though we don't talk in real life, 
that uh, you live in my computer and I just want you to know that you are my friends and I'm sending you best wishes for this difficult time and I hope that you and yours are all healthy and safe. So on that note, I want to thank Natalie once again for being a great friend to me on YouTube and hopefully Natalie, we can finally get together this summer once some of the restrictions have been lifted and things are back to our normal lives. So thank you for collabing with me. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Take care everybody. Bye.